Last fragrance unboxing of 2023, actually. Second to last, because I gotta do this for YouTube. Look, this is from Parfums de Marley. Look how cute and festive it is. But I already sliced it open, but I don't know who this is from. It just has Pems on it. So let's find out together. Dude, there's eight fragrances in here. Let me show it to y'all like this. I hope it doesn't fall out. But it's from YSL. Look. Hey, hold on. This looks like a private blend scent. Oh my gosh. This is called uh, La Lavallere. La la Ooh, let me put that to the side. We got Libre Le Parfum. This is the 50 ml. This is Libre EDP, the Eau de Parfum. Dang! Dude, shout out YS. I love YSL. All right, this is Libre Eau de Toilette. And then this is Libre L'Absolu Plantain. Plant I was going to say Plantain. It's obviously not Plantain. We have Mon Paris EDP. And... Ooh, Black Opium Le Parfum. Y'all were just asking me about this one on the last live. And then Black Opium EDP. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. And I should have read the note first. Look how cute this little note is. Let's see what it says. Maybe like, oh, I ripped it. Dang it. Aw, it says, We love your content and wanted to send you some of our most favorite products. Hope you love them as much as we do. Love the YSL Beauty US team. This is so sweet. Thanks, guys. Dang. Yo, YSL is the fragrance brand that got me started in the fragrance game. And the scent for that was La Nuit de L'Homme. So La Nuit is what put me on top with me smelling great when I was first starting. To but oh my gosh, this is this going to join my tuxedo in my collection? Here we go. I'll let you guys feast on it first. Ooh. Look at that. Okay, it says rose, so it's gonna be a rosy fragrance. It's a magnetic cap, by the way. In case that wasn't noticeable, but oh my gosh, hold on. Look at that sprayer. And by the way, y'all, this is not like a sponsored video, all right? This is like, I will keep it real with y'all with what I like. Oh my God, I like this. This is a rosy feminine fragrance and it's, it kind of smells a bit fruity too. Like there's gotta be some fruity accord in it. But if I smell the girl wearing this, oh my God. Like especially fresh out the shower or something. You know, after when you clean up after you take a shower, but then you're probably gonna get dirty afterwards cause it's super sexy. I like this, I love this. Thank you YSL for the eight fragrances. I will be doing individual reviews on every single one of them, even on, mainly on YouTube, so you guys get like the full idea, but this one is freaking fire. This one smells really, really good. I love it so far. Y'all already know I like Libre. I think I just tried the EDT before, and also the hand, um, the hand lotion. The reason why I love recommending YSL for a lot of people that are just getting started in the fragrance game is because they have a lot of mass appealing likable fragrances and i know people always say that things are basic and everybody wears them but in reality not too many people are wearing fragrances day in and day out so if you want a signature scent and you're just getting started and you want something everybody's gonna love around you you really can't go wrong with like libre black opium on the masculine side l'homme la nuit de l'homme and as you can see their private blend stuff at least this one and tuxedo really fire